I'm Matt Wilkinson, and I'm the author of Restless Creatures, The Story of Life in Ten Movements. We share our planet with countless different kinds of living things. And this enormous diversity is beautiful, but also overwhelming. And even with a decent grasp of natural selection, it seems ultimately impossible to comprehend why the history of life has played out as it has. But it is possible to gain a deeper understanding of the living world, because it turns out that a single theme has dominated its evolution. Life is obsessed with locomotion, moving from place to place as efficiently and effectively as possible and its mark is everywhere. To take an example, consider the basic organization of the human body. We each have a clearly defined central axis that runs from the head to what's left of the tail, and our left and right hand sides are mirror images. This blueprint is enshrined in our early embryonic development, and we share it with over 99% of the rest of the animal kingdom, from fishes to worms, although the majority are not upright like us. Locomotion explains why. If you're consistently moving in one direction, you're going to want the mouth to be near the front, along with the long-range sense organs like the eyes and nose, as well as a computer to process the incoming information, the brain. Left and right need to be symmetrical, otherwise we'd find it very difficult not to keep going round and round in circles. We make a big deal of our opposable thumbs and how they let us manipulate our world. But the trait first evolved in our lemur-like ancestors in response to a locomotory need moving safely in tree canopies. This isn't just something that applies to animals, by the way. Locomotion has dominated the evolution of plants too. It's why we have flowers. Not only that, but understanding how our minds are adapted for locomotion could give us the key to living more engaged and meaningful lives. There is a famous saying that states that nothing in biology makes sense unless in the light of evolution. I would go further. Little in evolution makes sense unless in the light of locomotion.